In this video, I quickly want to go over a new plugin. It's called blink.cmp. So what is this plugin? Let me type something here. Just going to type bash. This is blink. Notice that I have three different sources that I can accept this completion from. I'm going to type control Y to accept this and notice that a snippet was inserted. I'm just going to type some random stuff in here. Let me type something else down here. I'm going to type this word chirpy. Notice that I get two different options that I can choose from here. I get a preview of this snippet. Here's the snippet itself. Here's the description of this snippet. And I also get a different source, which is Copilot, which is shown here. You can configure the priority of each one of the sources so that snippets show at the top always. And Copilot always shows at the bottom because 99% of the times it's just going to suggest noise. So what if I want to accept this completion? I'm just going to type control Y the same thing again. Notice that my cursor is placed in here. I'm going to type something here real quick, just uh, some test text for example i'm gonna hit tab on my keyboard notice that it jumped to this other side and i'm gonna type tip here what if i want to jump back i'm just gonna hit shift tab jumps back and if i hit tab again it's just gonna jump to the next section all of this is configurable and is what we're gonna be doing in this video If you want a more formal definition on what blink.cmp is, let me jump to the website real quick. And notice here that it's a completion plugin with support for LSPs and external sources that updates on every keystroke with minimal overhead. If we keep scrolling down here a little bit more on the website, we're gonna find the features. Let's keep scrolling down a little bit more. Here's how it compares to NVIM CMP. If you wanna find out more, you can go to this website. It's really well documented and it has a lot of information. Why did I switch from NVIM CMP to Blink? And the answer is, I didn't. I used the lazyvim.org distribution. Folky manages it. I'm not sure if it's Folky or Folk. If someone can confirm that, I would appreciate it. So one day I just opened lazyvim and NVIM CMP was gone and Blink replaced it. I didn't have time to work on Blink at the time because I needed to set it up. I just reverted my configuration back to version 13. If you're in the same boat, And if you want to know how you can pin your LazyVim distribution to a version so that updates don't break your configuration, let me show you real quick. I'm just going to open a file here that I have core or that Lua. Here it is. Let me open the file. And here, if you just add this file to your plugins directory, you uncomment this, you can pin your LazyVim distribution to a specific version. So it doesn't matter if we are in version 14, 15, you're always going to be pinned to this and new changes are not going to break your config. I spent in 13.9.1 for a few days while I figured stuff out. I finally did, so that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. Let me close this buffer here and let's quickly jump to the Blink configuration. Just gonna open the file, blink-cmp.lua, here it is. And if we scroll to the top of the file, we're gonna notice that I left here some description, documentation pages, here's the LazyVim page, the repo for Blink, and here's where it starts. If you're also using the LazyVim distribution the same way that I am, it already comes with a lot of defaults. So the only thing that I had to do is add my sources and then specify the priorities for the different sources. So notice here that all of the sources are specified. LSP is the first one. I have the highest priority set to that. Notice that it's set to 1000. The higher the number, the higher the priority, as you can see here. Lua snip comes next. This is the one that provides all of my custom snippets. If you remember the commands that I was typing here, bash or the other command chirpy, or if I type Python, for example, here, I hit control Y. This is just a code block for Python. So that is what Lua snip does. If you want to learn how to use Lua snip, how to set up your custom snippets, I have a video, which is the one shown here on the screen, custom snippets in NeoVim and configure completion priority on NVIM CMP. In that video, I use still NVIM CMP, but I do show how to configure Lua snip. So go over that video if you want to set up your custom snippets, but instead of NVMC and P, we will be using Blink, which is the one shown here on the screen. Okay, so notice that Lua Snip has a priority of 950, which is a little bit lower than the LSP. Notice here that Snippets has a priority of 900. That bot has a priority of 950. I still have to play around with the priorities and set them up correctly, but so far this is working well. I got this configuration from the official repo from Vim Dadbot completion. The link is here. If you want to see how this works, let me quickly jump back to Ghosty. Here I'm in Neo Vim. Let me just switch to another session here and let me bring up Dadbot. I have a key map space D or leader D that brings it up on the right hand side. Let me open one of my saved queries here, some university courses that I was taking. Let me open this real quick and you're going to notice that completion works here. Let me show you the databases that are here. This is the database I'm working 
working on right now. Notice that I have different tables and completion is going to work. OK, so if I go here to the end of this and I'm just going to start typing something, for example, notice that it recognizes you see that it says DB there on the right hand side. So completion is working properly. If I type something else, for example, PAC, you're going to notice that is the first result that shows on the top and I hit control Y here and I'm just going to save this query. You can see the query at the bottom. It works fine. And then what else do we have here? Notice that if I type select, notice that it gives me several different options. I can choose one of these like here. All. Then if I start typing here from, you're going to notice that I have several completions. You see the DB on the right and I can type something here like this, for example, and it just works. So that's what this source is, that bot, and it works great with Blink. The last source that I have here is Copilot. It is enabled. Notice that it has the lowest priority. It's minus 100. Why? Because Copilot is basically useless, we could say, when it comes to completion. If I'm working on markdown editing, it's just going to introduce a lot of noise. So I'm not sure if disabling it or not, but you can do so here. Or maybe just disable it for markdown files. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. There is another configuration or another section very important here, and you need to make sure that you add this. Otherwise, you will not be able to jump between the different sections of a snippet. So what do I mean by this? If I come here and if I type link for example and uh, let's say that I want to take this I want to accept it just gonna type something here test and I'm gonna hit tab this is what I'm talking about the jumping to the different sections if I hit shift tab jumps to the back and if I hit tab jumps to the front again so for this to work make sure that you add the option or the section that I left here if we go to this link here you're gonna find this configuration in the documentation notice that this is marked as optional which means that it's not added to the lazybim.org distribution by default so if you don't add this it's not gonna work what else do we have here at the bottom of the file if I scroll down a little bit more you're gonna notice the key map here section I have this under the default preset You're going to notice that I didn't specify CR, which is enter, because I don't like completions to be accepted with enter. Why? If I'm typing something in a markdown file, I get to the end of the line and I want to go to the line below. Let's say that I'm in a bullet point. And I hit enter. That's going to accept the completion. And I don't want that. So that's why you see here that to accept completions, I do it with the default, which is control Y. It's not specified here, but that's what works. Here you can also see that to jump to the next item in my custom snippets, I use tab and shift tab to go backward. The up arrow just moves me up and down, as you can see here, or you can use also control P, control N. This documentation, I haven't used it, but I just added it there. And these other two, I haven't used them as well, but just added them in case I need them or in case I go over them in the future. Notice that the application that I'm using right now is not Ghosty, it's not my terminal. It's another application called Neobyte, which is a Neobim GUI. That's why it's smoother than my terminal. If you want to learn more about Neobyte, here's a video that I created five months ago. I'll be releasing a new video related to Neobyte in which I will go over some really nice configs that I have discovered in the past few days and that make it really useful. But if you want to learn more in the meantime, check this video out as well. How do you enable Blink? If you are in LazyBim, you just will have it by default. Let me open the Lazy Extras here. You're going to notice here that coding that Blink is enabled by default. If you read here on the line at the very right hand side, it says that it's included by default the same way as FCF. I'm not using FCF yet. I'm going to create another video on the reasons why I'm still in Telescope, but we'll see how it goes. This Blink repo is actually quite new. The project, it seems here that it's relatively new. If we go to the repo here and we come to releases, there has been only 19 releases. We go to tags and if we go to the next page, you're going to see that the first release was on October 5th. So just a few months ago and it already has 2400 stars. If you like this, make sure to start it. I think it's a great tool and you're probably going to see everyone switching from NVMC MP to Blink in the next few months. Where do you find my configuration? Here's my .files latest repo. Notice that I'm at 250 stars. If you like what you find here, I have a lot of different stuff. My entire Mac OS configuration is here, Linux, NeoVim, everything. So if you like this, make sure to start it. And if you want to find the file that I was working on, just press T here. You look for blink cmplua and this is the one. Notice the path here, NeoBin Lua plugins blink cmplua which is the one that you see here at the top on WinBar. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to go over Blink in this video. I hope this unlocks you in case that you were stuck like I was for a couple days, but everything's back to normal. If you find this useful, let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, also let me know down in the comments. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.